Hi, I'm at the 2011 ICASI conference. Um, right now, I'm speaking to Yosef Manik, who is uh, a PhD student studying forest resources at the University of Maine. And right now, he's going to speak to us about his research about sustainability and biofuels. Yeah, so thank you. My name is Yosef Manik. As you can see, uh, we are from the University of Maine. Uh, this is my uh, posters. This is a um, uh, kind of framework of our, our research study. Now we are doing a system modeling of sustainable assessment of different biofuel processing. Um, yeah, the aim of this study is uh, to uh, give an impression uh, about the sustainability measure of different biofuel processes. Uh, you, we know that uh, nowadays people in the world are talking a lot about the biofuel due to the depletion of the fossil fuels. And what we are doing now, uh, we make a two um, case studies, case studies of uh, uh, biofuel process processing. One is the uh, bioethanol from the woody biomass, which is um, the, 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 uh, uh, forest products like a wood chip or uh, from pulp, etc. And the second one is the biodiesel produced from palm oil that is being conducted in Indonesia. So the aim of this study is to find out the economic, eco uh, environmental and social implications of such systems. Now we are incorporating different um, methodology. We start with the LCA life cycle assessment to assess the environmental impact of such uh, systems. And then we move to um, yeah, find out the economical aspects using the system dynamics. And then uh, lately we are going to measure the social implications of such system by uh, measuring the um, yeah, the perceptions, people perceptions about how, how, how far they are affected by the uh, by such systems. So, uh, if you can see in this diagram, the, uh, the process uh, will start uh, by um, assessing such a uh, different alternative of biofuel technologies, and then uh, we also uh, will collect the stakeholder perspective analysis um, from environmental, social, and economic criteria, and then we will merge them all together in a uh, methodology. So, so called the AHP or analytical parity process to identify the sustainable criterion of such system and then this uh, will go to the, uh, the dynamic system modeling to model or uh, to make a forecasting what will happen from the baseline scenario or, or to make a uh, for, um, our, uh, foreseeing of uh, what will uh, what we should we do at the moment for the desirable system uh, in Lastly, we can make a scenario of uh, modeling of different scenario, and the final result of this is uh, some decisions uh, support uh, system that will be incorporated in policy making in different uh, level. Yeah. So uh, yeah, we, we start with the LCA study, and uh, our LCA, we have done some LCA studies both in biofuel and biodiesel, bioethanol and biodiesel, and now we are moving to the economical aspect, which is the um, dynamic system modeling that uh, it's uh, better shown by this uh, household diagram. For example, if we start from biofuel production, what will biofuel pro uh, production, how, how will the biofuel production affect the renewable energy policy and how it will affect the biofuel price uh, yeah, in general. And then uh, uh, in terms of technology, uh, biofuel production, what will affect uh, to the biofuel technology in general and uh, what effect it will bring to the our research and development investment of the uh, technology. And finally, we will um, evaluate the revenue uh, or the economic impacts for the stakeholders, the all set stakeholders of this biofuel. Yeah, so, um, this is actually a very long term um, methodical scenario, but uh, we are uh, doing step by step up to uh, you now from environmental to economical and then. Um, uh, lastly, we are going to incorporate also the social um, the dimension using the um, uh, agent-based modeling. Yeah, uh, but um, we don't really need to. Uh, in conclusion, we don't want to make them all in one dimension. Uh, so every aspect will have their own dimension, so that we can analyze everything based on their dimension. So. Um, yeah, this is uh, still undergoing, uh, and we think uh, we estimate of uh, three years of um, period to uh, finalize all these uh, systems. So I think that's all what I can present at the moment. Thank you.